The King of Fighters 2002 Unlimited Match is the newest entry in the series to receive Rollback roll back, 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 back. Aside from being a cool game with a kick-ass soundtrack, the quality online play also makes it a great tool to get used to the general system and flow in the series, and prepare for the release of KOF 15. However, there are some weird qualities about the game that could be frustrating if you are not aware of them. In this video, we will not cover the basics of KOF. Instead, we'll give you 10 execution tips that will help you do what you want, when you want to do it. 1. Hop by moving the joystick quickly from up to down. For new players, this may be an easier method compared to letting go of up quickly and going to neutral. It also makes sense in your mind, when you want to jump but still stay low and closer to the ground, hence the down input. 2. Hold the buttons down when performing specials and supers. KOF has a buffer system that repeats a special or super input several times, if you keep the buttons held down when performing them. This saves you the need to try to nail tight timings, and makes combos much easier. 3. Keep the directions held down when inputting crouching or command normals. When you do a normal in this game, it doesn't start right when you press the button. There's an inherent lag of 4 frames before the normal comes out. This only applies to normals, not specials and supers. The game checks what exactly you want to do at the end of the 4 frame period. If you perform a crouching normal, but let go of the joystick before the end of the 4 frame period, the game will perform a standing normal. Same for command normals. So make sure to keep holding the direction down as well, at least until the move starts to come out. 4. Perform your landing normals a bit early. You may find it hard to combo a ground normal after hitting a jump and attack. This is because, in other games, you might be used to waiting until the character reaches the ground before pressing the next button. Due to the 4 frame lag on normals, make a habit of pressing the button for the grounded normal earlier than usual, even a split second before the character's feet touch the ground. Also as a general rule, when you want to get a full combo, try to hit your jump in attack deep, and aim for the opponent's waist area rather than the head. 5. Cancel early. Many moves in this game have very small cancel windows, and the 4 frame leg on normals needs to be taken into account. If some cancels don't come out, try doing them very early. When possible, mix parts of the input for a move within the input for the previous move. 6. Don't trust the move list. SNK likes to give some moves crazy motions, but there are many shortcuts that allow you to perform the moves easier and faster. Many of these shortcuts are crucial for combos, so if you are having trouble, make sure to ask knowledgeable players. 7. Understand how max mode works. At the cost of two super bars, pressing B plus C cancels your current normal or command normal, which makes your character enter max mode, which is key to your big combos. Max mode is very weird, and you need to understand what's going on. If you press B plus C early, your character returns to neutral. If you press it late, the character will perform a B normal. Normally, you'd want to cancel it early to avoid the unwanted normal. However, some characters have a command normal done with B or C, which you'd want to use right after the activation anyway. If you hold the direction needed for the command normal while doing a late B plus C, this command will take priority and will come out automatically instead of the usual B normal. For characters that want to perform an early B plus C, Try to perform the combo fast so that the previous normal won't have time to push the opponent away, out of the range of the next move. 8. Use Max Bypass if possible. Some characters can utilize a technique called Max Bypass in their combos, by inputting a special with B plus C. This allows for an easy way to enter Max Mode and continue the combo. As with every time you are doing a special, remember to keep the attack buttons held down. 9. If you have to run forward after max activation, buffer the run input. When you cancel some moves into max activation early during the move's hit stop, the B plus C input will only occur after the hit stop ends. This gives you enough time to buffer and hold the dash input, and the character will start running as soon as possible. When possible, it's even better to input the max activation as forward plus B plus C, so that you only need to press and hold forward once more afterwards. 
This can make some run combos much more doable. 10. It's okay to settle for easier combos. Some of the optimized combos in this game are extremely hard, but there are also easier combos that still do great damage for the resources they spend. It's perfectly fine, and even highly recommended, to look for and rely on easy combos while you focus on improving on all the other aspects of the game. That's it for our short execution guideline. Make sure to visit the community's Discord for more information, and for many players at all levels to play with. The link is in the video description below. Thank you for watching, and see you next time!